some tall vegan girl talking to her dog. Just how I like them. Schizophrenic. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy today. You get a piece of lettuce today. At the NYPD shithead patrol in the tiny little cars. Pull over, it's the police! Pull over, it's the police! Put your hands up, no fun allowed! You guys saw in yesterday's video how many Verizon Spectrum cable trucks were driving by me. And I thought, okay, if all of these trucks are out this week, let's go back down to the city today and see if it really is that crazy. You know, I don't want to wait till next week or the weekend or perhaps a time where there aren't as many cable trucks outside contracted. You know, perhaps yesterday was an unusual day, but I'm hoping today, Thursday, uh, there's still similar activity going on down in Manhattan. And it doesn't make any sense. You know, we've been locked inside for three, four, five months. And I literally saw, you know, 10 cable trucks in the span of, you know, just a few minutes of driving. So what are these cable trucks doing? Why are they setting up so much infrastructure? You know, I think if we make people aware of this, people are going to be able to go out and film what they're doing and kind of figure out what they are actually setting up. Uh, so we're going to head down to the city now. It's about uh, two o'clock so we're gonna be down there the same time as we were yesterday guys I can't make this up as soon as I pulled out of my driveway. There was literally a Verizon truck driving down the street literally Passing by right as I said it. I can't make this up man. I can't make this up. I don't want to talk to this guy or anything So I'm just gonna let him be but It's getting crazy. I should probably hang out and see what he's doing. Hey, let's head down to the city Maybe we'll see a couple more trucks before we even get down there I ended up hopping on the freeway and I already saw one Verizon truck going northbound, but uh, I'm sure the the ridiculousness will start once we actually get into Manhattan Weaponry is everywhere So we've been heading southbound for five minutes And we've already seen two Verizon trucks heading northbound on the highway and th that's unusual because you know Why would at you know 2 30 p.m middle of uh, you know the middle of the day would these trucks still be commuting to jobs on the highway you know, it shows you how busy they are how much they're doing so I've been driving for about 15 more minutes I told you guys I saw two Verizon trucks now we're up to eight so far I've seen eight of the exact same white Verizon van and most of them had Verizon written on the left side panel Two of them had Fios written on the left side panel. Seven of the trucks were going northbound against me, and one of them was actually pulling off on the side of the highway where I was driving. And I'm trying to count and pay attention. I can't really film, because you know, I'm going like 50, 60, and they're going 50, 60, so it's hard to see. You know, and who knows how many I missed, because like here I can't see the traffic. You know, I'm sure I missed you know, at least two or three more Verizon trucks, just because of the dividers and the fences. And those are the marked ones. Those were the vans that I clearly saw, you know, Verizon or Fios on the side panel. You know, who knows how many of these vans are private electric contractors. Uh, we just passed our ninth Verizon van. I didn't get it on camera though. Nine Verizon trucks, nine. So we're pulling into the city right now around where we were yesterday on 23rd Street. And I haven't seen any more trucks since uh, nine because you know we were on the JFK uh, what's it called we're on the east side highway where there's no trucks allowed so we didn't see anything so I'm basically gonna drive across town uh, we'll drive around for like maybe an hour total and see what we uh, see how many trucks we see I mean hopefully it's the same as yesterday because yesterday was an absolute abomination I saw a truck every block so I don't see why uh, you know today should be any different all this stuff's boarded up that's boarded up. That's boarded up down there. Let's say what they've done to this city. Best Buy's all boarded up. I mean, I've passed at least 20 unmarked white vans. And I gotta assume a large percentage of those vans are involved in, in installing these structures. So I think that's a pretty safe assumption. So this is the first one I've seen parked. This is on 23rd Street between 9th and 10th Avenue. Uh, so if you guys know of any maintenance work going on here, it's kind of funny. Uh, the guy's actually wearing AirPods right now, so not only is he installing stuff that's frying people, he's actually frying people himself with a microwave. So I'm super illegally parked here, but this is on West 18th Street on the West Side Highway. Uh, there's two Verizon trucks right now. They're installing uh, some type of wiring, some type of infrastructure uh, below the ground. So, you know, again, I'm not going to bother these guys, but you know, Verizon is definitely working overtime to, uh, to install this infrastructure. Verizon Spectrum. 
all these demonic companies. I don't know if you guys saw that, you just missed it. There was a, a Spectrum van just drove by there. Is this another cable van? This is comical. This is comical. Let's see. I bet it is. I hope I'm wrong, but I bet it is. Is it a Verizon or Spectrum truck? Yup, that was a Verizon truck. Verizon truck again. There's a Spectrum truck, look, right down the street. I'm about to go through a red light because I'm not paying attention. But but that was a, that's a Spectrum van right there. This is crazy. There's literally like one cable truck every block there is in New York City. And look at what they've done to New York City. Everything is boarded up. This is um this is the meatpacking district, so this is where like nightclubs and everyone used to party and, and really bougie stuff, but not anymore. It's all boarded up. Hey, have you guys seen a lot of cable vans? Huh? Have you guys seen a lot of cable trucks? Cable trucks? Like Spectrum and Verizon? No? So these people aren't fucking paying attention for shit. No one's fucking, no one's paying attention. They, they probably got cable trucks, you literally, you know, 10, 15, 20 cable trucks driving past them every day, and they're not even seeing them because they're not paying attention. They don't notice stuff like that. These people don't notice stuff like that. Like, like honestly, how many of these unmarked white trucks are independent electric contractors? Like, at least half of them have to be. Another Spectrum van parked right there. And another one. What the hell? What? There's literally two per block. This is craziness. This is craziness. That was on, uh, this is on 14th Street by University Place. Oh man, they boarded up Whole Foods. Well, I guess this is down by Union Square where they were having the protests. Oh, wasn't Whole Foods getting raided the other day? All right, so, so I think I see some Verizon trucks on 14th Street after First Avenue. But back there on 2nd Avenue, I think I also saw some Verizon trucks. So I'm going to make a left and I'm going to turn around and we're going to go down 2nd Avenue. Oh, there's a Spectrum truck right there. Look, Spectrum truck right there. Are there any of those Spectrum trucks? I think one of those down there might be a Verizon truck. So we're going to hang a left here and uh, turn back around to 2nd Avenue to see what's going on. Another Spectrum van. Don't tell me. What a surprise! What a surprise! This is hilarious. Yo, there's so many, it's it's crazy. Every street I turn onto, there's another Spectrum van parked on it. They're literally doing work on every single block, multiple trucks on every single block. Yeah, I could I could spend hours and hours and hours driving through the city doing this, guys. We've only been doing this for like uh this has only been 20 minutes. We're 20 minutes into driving, guys. And we've already seen what, like 10, 15 trucks? And not just like small little vans, like, you know, full on operation on the west side. And guys, my head is beating. I'm trying to stay hydrated, but I didn't have time to eat anything today. And uh, Frankie boy drove down to the city for you guys. So definitely drop a like on this video and uh, subscribe so that you can be unsubscribed next week because apparently YouTube doesn't like it when I film the streets of New York City. Yeah, so my eyes did not deceive me. Uh, Second Avenue on East 12th Street, Verizon truck here. Verizon truck there. They're doing a lot, a lot of work. You know, I mean, I'd love to see what they're installing. I mean, I'm sure we know what they're installing. You know, up there. You know, I'm sure there's stuff up there too, but you know, the infrastructure's here, boys. Get ready to be microwaved. Get microwaved in your boarded up prison. What a life to live. What a life to live. Oh, look, another Spectrum truck. Look, right there, another Spectrum truck. It's literally every street you look on, there's a Spectrum truck parked there. This is crazy. Crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. No other word for it. Oh, look, the second I turned my camera off, another Spectrum truck just pulled onto 2nd Avenue. Let me see if I can go get a shot of it. I want to I make a right here, so hopefully I can see him when I turn right. Yep, see? Spectrum truck right there. Another Spectrum truck just turned on as soon as I was, um, as soon as I turned my camera off. Oh, look, another one. Another Spectrum truck. <laughs> this is fun, man. I'm having fun today. This is so ridiculous. What's, what's the bet that we see another Spectrum truck on this street? What's the bet? 
Maybe, maybe there won't be. <laughs> maybe there won't be. This is funny, man. This is funny. It's like you can't make this stuff up. You can't make this stuff up. Well, they closed the street down, so that's not good. I promise you guys I'll drive around for an hour, and I already feel like I'm dying half an hour into this. <laughs> but uh, right, let's, let's drive downtown a little bit more, and then we'll start heading uptown to head home. I haven't really been pointing out the weaponry on the rooftops too much, but it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Spectrum trucks on the streets, Wi-Fi antennas on every rooftop, freshly installed. We know what they're doing. These men that are collecting their mediocre paychecks, their mediocre overtime to install this weaponry, you know. Well, what's the saying? I was only following orders. I was just following orders. They told me to do that. They paid me to do that. I had to make a living for my family. Speak of the devil. I had to make a living for my family by working for Spectrum and microwaving children, babies, adults, everyone. Honestly, I think I'm beating a dead horse here. So we're just gonna start heading uptown. Uh, you know, I don't really wanna risk being down here too much longer. It's 3.30 and I don't really wanna get stuck down here during rush hour. So, you know, if we head downtown now, we'll probably get stuck. But if we just go up now, we should be good. Hold up. Verizon Fios, right here. There you go. We don't have to look far. They're on every street corner. There's multiple on every block. You know, it's, it's, it's comical how, how no one else is, is noticing this or pointing this out. It's really ridiculous. You know, especially, you know, everything's boarded up. You guys have nothing better to do than to look at all the Verizon and Spectrum trucks on the street. There's another one. That, there was one right on that. I don't know if you guys saw in that clip, but there was one right on the side street right there. You know, this is no exaggeration. No exaggeration. Every single block has a Spectrum or Verizon truck. And in most cases, there's multiple of them. There's multiple. People are too busy protesting for this BLM bullshit, this fake nonsense. And they're installing this stuff right under these people's noses. Well, not under these people's noses because they're just doing it in plain sight and no one seems to care. No one thinks it's suspicious that, you know, they're installing all these LED, you know, this is something I didn't say in this video today, all the LED lamps on the street. You know, they have the LED weaponry on the streets of New York City. You wouldn't think it's necessary to light light up these streets like a highway. But they're everywhere. Is that necessary? What, what? I don't understand. Is that necessary? Why, why are there two... Why are there two lamps right there on top of each other for extra strength at the intersections? I don't understand. I don't understand. You know, it's, does New York City need all these LED lights on the street? Does it? These main streets like, you know, 34th Street, 23rd Street, you know, 14th Street aren't really the best for finding these trucks uh, because, you know, they're most likely parked and working on the side streets. You know, these main streets, are just really for you know driving up and down so uh, maybe maybe we should go on like 32nd or 33rd instead of 34th the the theme here is Verizon and Spectrum you know they're and possibly independent contractors that we don't really you know we don't know who they're working for specifically I mean probably Verizon or Spectrum right oh look they boarded up the bank I don't know what dictates what they're boarding up because Maybe it was where the protests were because some of these places are boarded up. Some of them are not boarded up. It's dead over here, guys. It is dead. It is D-E-A-D, -E dead. You know, th these streets, like, um, you know, towards the east side in the 30s are usually kind of dead, even normally. But now with what's happening in the city, like, there's no one over here. No one's over here. I know I said my brain feels fried earlier, guys, but I feel like I'm literally drunk. One thing to keep in mind, guys, is I've only shown you about half of the trucks I've seen, mainly because it's very difficult to film and drive at the same time. You know, especially when I'm like driving past these side streets pretty quickly. And those are only the ones I've seen, let alone what I've missed. I wonder what all these gray vans are for. There's like 20 of them. Are those the uh, Wi-Fi proof vehicles for all the elite people to drive around in New York City in? Most likely. Maybe someone else will see this and other people will see this and they'll start filming like uptown parts of the city, Harlem, all that type of stuff. So I don't have to get my brain fried coming down here. The new normal. 
Wells Fargo on 52nd Street and 3rd, heart of Midtown Manhattan, boarded up like we're in some third world hellhole. That's exactly what they want. I think that's a Verizon uh, truck right there. I can tell by the top, but I'm not driving down there. I'm making a left here on 53rd Street. Like some of the city banks are boarded up, some of them aren't. So I don't really. I mean, I've driven by at least like 20 cops with my phone literally right in my hand. Like they don't care right now. What kind of symbolism is on this church, huh? Oh, those guys are painting their, so some guy, they were painting their boards black on their store. Yeah, it sucks. I think people in New York City are accepting. All right, well, New York's going to get shut down for uh, for who knows how long. We're all screwed. We're all screwed. Oh, there's a Spectrum truck right there. Right there. I used to actually park on this street when I worked for Salt Bay Steakhouse. Like, this is, ex this is exactly where I would park on the left here. This is kind of creepy if you think about it. It's like New York is a devastated battlefield, you know? And these Spectrum, Verizon, and telecom workers are coming in to set up mines, like disguised as spies. It's, it's kind of crazy if you, if you try to put it into context of what they're actually doing. You know, the city is getting destroyed. Everyone's miserable, locked inside their apartments. There's nothing to do. And these telecom workers are, as we said earlier, just following orders. Just following orders. Just following orders to install weaponry on every rooftop in New York City. There's some tall vegan girl talking to her dog. Just how I like them. Schizophrenic. Let's see if you get a shot of her. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy today. You get a piece of lettuce today. God, the tall vegan girl with the dog distracted me. Another Spectrum truck drove by and I didn't get it on camera. Let's see if we could see this Spectrum truck, if there's a red light down there. Yeah, you guys see it? Uh, there's someone behind me, someone's behind me. The Spectrum truck was right there. I'm, I'm surprised I haven't heard anyone yet. <laughs> There's my, uh, there's my new vegan girlfriend. Guys, I'm Italian. If it has long hair, I look at it. Like that. Well, you guys can't see that. I'm about to get into a car accident looking at girls on the street. <laughs> They're not pretty enough, Frankie. We're near the end, boys. Well, technically not the end because we could probably spend the next four hours that it's light outside looking at cable trucks around the city, but my head's feeling a little better. I'm gonna head home and eat now. It's four o'clock. So Frankie Boy did an hour of work for you guys. Got the NYPD shithead patrol in the tiny little cars. Pull over, it's the police! Pull over, it's the police! <laughs> uh. Put your hands up, no fun allowed! <laughs> let's see, let's see if there's anything else before we get out of this hell hole. No surprises, boys. No surprises. Oh wait, this is a surprise. What the hell is this? What street are we on? 53rd Street? I can't make a right here? What? What kind of bullshit is this? What the fuck? If I can go right, I'm going right. I don't give a shit. New. Well, it, it's new, so that means I can do I can do what used to be not new. No right, I'm making a fucking right because I'm not fucking driving around for 10 more minutes in this shithole of the city. Oh, it's only one way. No wonder I can't make a right. God damn it. Maybe, maybe we'll find another truck before we get out of this shithole. Well, there's the weaponry, the LED lamps. There's some Wi-Fi towers pointed right at me right now. Someone did tell us a new meter to buy, so maybe we'll buy the meter and we'll come back down here. Oh, of course we get a surprise. We get a surprise at the end of our trip. What appears to be the hub for the Verizon trucks. Is this not destiny? Ending our trip with a parking lot full of Verizon trucks. This is where the protesters should be going and, and putting shit on. This is where they should be putting shit up. This is on 51st Street on the west side. A bunch of Verizon trucks parked in a lot. That's what we should be. And uh, by being, I mean thanking them for installing Wi-Fi infrastructure so that we can all use the internet safely and quickly. 
Uh, so that's going to be it for today, guys. I am happy I'm getting out of this hell hole. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, maybe we'll do a video handing out those flyers around my neighborhood and try to catch the, uh, the Karen that took my flyers down. Uh, but as I said earlier, guys, please drop a like. You know, please subscribe. Do whatever you can to support me. Um, I did want to thank you guys again that did donate to me. All of that money is going towards a good cause, and I don't see anyone else on YouTube uh, that, that really cares as much as me. I was a little upset yesterday that my video was heavily, heavily censored. I guess that's uh, that's just part of the game. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to do something exciting, try to uh, distract you guys a little bit.